Again, going to the reports on the left hand side, closing up the buggy, it's holding control, scrolling down a bit to 125 so I can go down to my sales areas. There they are. I'm looking for the sales by sales by item. So I want the sales by item and I just want the summary. There it is. Sales by product service summary. And so there it is. Let's run it for 010122 tab, 123122 tab and run it. Now this one's a little bit more detailed because there's more stuff in it because we've got a, a couple different columns up top. What we're really focused in on is just the amount of the sales is what I'm focused in on to make our pie chart and our graphs. So I could just delete the other stuff once I export it to Excel. We also have some subcategories we'll have to deal with. Before I get into that though, uh, note that the total down here adds up to 10,280, which doesn't tie out exactly to what's on the income statement, which ties out to 10,277 uh, cents for total income. That could be the case. And remember that this sales by item will only work if you're entering your data into the system in such a way that it's gonna populate the sub ledger accounts. Quick recap, if I hit the plus button, your revenue cycle could differ depending on the type of industry you're in. If you're in gig work, you're getting paid by YouTube, you're getting paid by Amazon, some platform, then as you get the money, you might just be using a deposit form with the use of the bank feeds possibly to record the revenue. So that's great, but you're not gonna have the same detail for the service sub ledger item because you're not entering items that way because the deposit form doesn't have the capacity to do so because it's not usually the form we use for the sales side of things. If, however, you have a, a cash-based business where you have a cash register, you're using the sales receipts and as you populate the sales receipts, you're gonna be populating the inventory and revenue items, service items in there and therefore the sub ledgers should be generated. Same with the invoices. If you're using invoices, the sub ledger should be generated because you're gonna be using the items within the sub ledgers. So that's the, that's the general idea. Also, just remember if I go to this first tab over here, we're gonna to go to the sales tab and then you can find your items in the products and services. And these are the things that we sell that we populate the invoices for. So these would be our inventory items, our service items. Now we have a bit more complexity because here they set up their items to have subgroups. So now we've got items and subgroup of items that will be showing up on our items reports as well. Okay, so let's go back on over to our items reports. So, so when I export this, maybe I don't want, maybe I just want to group this stuff by category. If that was the case, I can collapse the tabs here and I can export just by the categories and then make my make my pie chart by the category or possibly I want all the items and not just by category so if I want all of my items this way then then I can do it this way maybe I, I just remove the subcategory so now I've got a category and another sub subcategory so I'm going to minimize these ones and I'm just going to have the major categories so I'm going to minimize this so I all I have like two layers the major categories and then everything within it. So when I export this, this gets a little bit messy because now I'm going to have to remove these kind of subtotals. So I just have a set of data and a total at the bottom. Not too bad, but it's a little bit, little bit more of a challenge to, to deal with it to get our pie chart. So let's, let's do our pie chart based on this information. So I'm going to export it now by going to the drop down up top and I'm going to export to Excel as we've done in prior presentation. You do need Excel in order to open stuff in it. There it is. I'm going to enable the editing. I'm going to copy this and put it on our other worksheet that has all of our statements on it. You don't have to do this. If you don't have the other worksheet, you can work here, but I'm going to show you how to do it. If you want to do that, we're going to hit the triangle, right click, copy. I'm going to go into my other Excel worksheet that has all our reports on it. Go to the last tab within it, add another tab, and then put this in A1 or select the triangle and paste it down right then and there.